Well, my fellow brothers and sisters, this is Brother Roger Dennis. I come to you today to uh, share a little thought that uh, uh, the Lord has shown me. Uh, something about his own own heart. Uh, he's, he's, I mean, he, showed, he shared this with us in, in John chapter 21 when he talks to Peter, uh, starting in verse 15. But he had, God asked John, or I'm sorry, asked Peter, uh, do you love me? And I was like, well, that sounds like a kind of odd question. And Peter answered and said, yeah, of course I do. He said, well, then feed my lambs. But that wasn't good enough. He, then he turns around and asks him again, do you love me? He said, well, Lord, you know that I love you. He said, then feed my lambs. And then he asked him a third time, do you love me? And so Peter had to really think. He says, only you know. How many times has God asked us, do you love me? We go on about our busy days, but we, sometimes we, we get to a place that, do we actually love God or are we just kind of know him? I mean, when, when we love somebody, we're willing to sacrifice. We're willing to go out of our way to, to please them. Uh, if it was something that they don't like, when I was dating my wife, okay, way back in the late 70s, okay, when I was dating her, I wanted to do all kinds of things to please her because I loved her. What about us? Do we really love God? If God stood in front of you and said, do you love me? You know, most of us would say, well, sure. He said, well, show me. Feed my lambs. Do, do something. We sit around and we, you know, we talk about God, but how much time do we put this love into action? Because if we, God is love. And he that doesn't love doesn't know God. But do we love him? We sit there and say, well, I got all these problems and everything. You know, God just understands. No. Do you love him? Are you willing to give up your sin because he first loved you? Do you love him that much that you'd be willing to do anything for him? Including getting away from these people that are drawing you into sinful things. Keep saying, well, this sin here and this sin here. God said that when he comes, sin has no more dominion over you. In other words, it has no control. We can't blame it on the sin. We can only blame it on ourselves. Because... Do we love him enough to give it up? How much time do you spend just loving on God? If I didn't spend any time, you know, showing my wife love, she wouldn't have stuck, you know, put up with me all these years. But love, you know, when we were talking about 1 Corinthians last week, love is willing to sacrifice. Love doesn't think about itself. But we're all so busy about our own things, about what we want, about you know how we feel about things. And it's not about us. It's about the one we love. If you only thought about yourself, or let's say your partner, what if they only thought about themselves and hardly ever talked to you? How long would you stick around with them? God so loved us that he sent his son to pay the price so that we could be together with him. Because we couldn't pay it. It's a debt we couldn't, we couldn't ever, ever pay. But do we love him? Well, you know, I, I said the sinner's prayer, and, you know, and I go to church, and, okay, so you do rituals. 
you know, Jesus, when he was talking to the Pharisees, he was talking to the people around him about the Pharisees. He said, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the Pharisees and the Sadducees, you will not see the kingdom of heaven. It's not about works. It's not about traditions. It's not about duties. It's about love. Do you respect God enough? Do you honor him just for the little things he does instead of complaining about everything you don't have? Complaining if you get sick. Complaining at work because God gave you a job that provides for you. But you're not thankful for what he gave you. You're just asking for more and more and more just so you can satisfy yourself. God will give us the things as we yield ourselves to him, not because we demand it like a spoiled little brat. God, I want you, why aren't you doing this for me? Boo hoo hoo. God says, because you're not ready for that. You know, my son, when he was younger, he said, can I drive the car, dad? Uh, you're eight years old. No. But I don't think that's fair. I just know what's best. You can't even reach the pedals. But yeah, you want to try to drive a car. Today, we're trying to run our own lives and we can't even reach the pedals. We don't even know which way we're supposed to be going. But God does. He's picked us up. He's dusted us off. He's put up with our adultery with the world, as, as the scripture puts it. To love the world is adultery to God. Because you say you love him, he's taking you in under his, under his shelter, and you go out and play around with the devil. You don't love him. You're just using him for what he can give you. These are hard words, but think about it. God's heart's broken because all of what he's done, including sending his son, and had to watch him be tortured so that we can be set free. And then we don't even care, and we become like spoiled little brats. And we don't love him back. We just expect him to perform. Well, God's not going to just perform. He's expecting us to love him back. And as we love him back, he pours out blessings upon us. He wants to do great things for you. But he's not going to do it while you're in disobedience to him. God's asking, do you love me? Really, do you love me? Not do you know me? Do you like me? No, do you love me? You respect me. You, you care about me at all and what I've done for you. You need to take a look at your life just like I take a look at my life. There's areas that it's like, God, I have not given you the honor and glory in this area. And, I, and I've come to repent and let you know I really do appreciate all that you've done. Take some time this, this, this week and take a good, long, hard look at that. If you were treated the way you treat God, would you stick around with that person? God loves us so much that he's willing to give us second, third, and fourth chances. Just leave this with you, that thought. Be blessed. We'll talk to you again soon.